Four Seasons, December 1963. Oh, what a night. Now, what really gets me about this story is if those cones have been there for four and a bit years, why hasn't anybody complained before and had them moved or taken away until March 2016 when the work can really start? It's about us and complaining. We just don't do it well enough and often enough, do we? We'll talk complaining in just two ticks. First, though, coming up after half past seven, going to be talking about one of the most popular items of clothing in the world. I don't wear them when I'm going to church, naturally. I find them relaxing. You don't feel old, actually, <laughs> when you've got them on. <laughs> After half past seven, should men of a certain age still be allowed to wear jeans? First, let's go back to our complaining. Uh, Helen Judney, uh, we've had her on the show before. She's excellent. She writes a blog called Complaining Cow. Hi, Helen. Hi, Al. How do you get over, I suppose it's a slight embarrassment factor, isn't it, that stops so many of us complaining? I think it's just a case of knowing that you're right. And if you're owed a refund or you're owed a redress, it's um, about becoming assertive. And if you know that your legal rights and you know you're right, asserting them and then, you know, getting what you want. And if you've got in mind what you want in the end... Then, and you've got, you've got a driving force to go for that. Is that what holds us back, do you think, that we don't quite know what we really want and therefore we don't bother to make the call or write the letter? I think it is, it is that. It's also people don't know their legal rights, they don't know how to complain effectively, they'll go on the phone and they'll get emotional, whereas if you put it in writing, you can um, be more objective and you can take the emotion out of it. Oh, that's interesting. Can I pick you up on that? So Because contact centres, call centres are so ubiquitous now, one just assumes that one ought to pick up the phone and have a rant to whoever... <laughs> picks that phone up, you would argue that's probably a bit of a waste of time. I would, definitely, because also when you've got it in writing, you've got, you've got a record there. They can't deny saying what they've said. They can't cut you off. Um, and if you are going further with it, you, you can then go to the CEO or you're going to go to court. You've got a good record. Um, whereas if you're on the phone, you, you haven't got that record. You, you can get emotional and you forget what to say as well. Whereas if you put it in writing, you can take as long as you like to put everything you want and need to put into that email or that letter. So it's um, more thorough as um, well. And which is best, email or letter? I, w I would say email, personally, because um, it gets there quicker. You can still do, you know, a red receipt and a sent receipt to prove that it was it was sent, just as well as a recorded delivery. Um, and there's a really good website out there um, called CEO um, email com, and that gives you all the email addresses of the CEOs. So if you're not getting the redress that you want from the customer services, you can go and bang on the CEO's door as well. Now that we have all these tools at our disposal, CEO email addresses, I mean, imagine if that was something that had been in existence 20 years ago. I mean, are we getting better at complaining? I think we're getting, we're getting slightly better. I think, I think a lot of people will say, you know, in a survey last year that undertook 41% of people said that they complained, and that was in um, that tied in with the Ombudsman um, report as well that year. Whereas still 41% of people might say they complain, but they don't necessarily complain effectively. And I think that's that's the thing that that we need to get better at um, of, of of how you actually complain, and not just having a little rant on on social media, but actually saying this is what happened, this is when it happened, and this is what I want to happen. Um, and although people are perhaps complaining more, they're not necessarily complaining effectively and using all the tools. And so they... those anecdotal stories that one reads about from time to time saying, mm -hmm. oh, I just put a little tweet into the train company or the superstore and I got redressed straight away. That's not necessarily the best way about it, going about it. No, and I think it's if you're going to send a tweet, it's only 140 characters. So it's going to be a very, very simple quick query it might just be you know the might response might be you need to go and get a form download a form from here and you'll get your refund so you know it could be as simple as that but if it's going to be more complicated about you know a broken television and you need to, to prove it and some of the evidence and you're being fobbed off you need to be able to quote the right laws and that's going to take you out of the 140 characters of course helen good to talk to you thank you so much helen judney blogger and author writes a blog called complaining cow there's where you need to go if you want any help or assistance with something that's on your mind at the moment